Welcome to my channel. Today I am making apple bread. Uh, for the past couple of videos I've been making some main dishes and I thought I would switch it up a little bit and make some bread. And of course you'll need some apples. And this is a, more like a, a quick bread. There's no yeast, no rice, rising involved. Okay, so we need flour and sugar, salt, baking soda, nuts, eggs, vanilla and baking powder, buttermilk, and if I can lift this, Crisco. Okay, so um, I am going to probably be dumping most of my ingredients over here into my mixer, so I'm going to bring you over there. Oh, and as always, uh, the directions or the ingredients, the quantities that you will need for this recipe will be down below in the description box. Okay, I'll meet you over on the other side of the counter. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be doing is creaming together the sugar and the shortening. So I'm going to get one cup of sugar. Here's the sugar. And one half cup of shortening. So we'll get that in there. Got it all in there now. And I'm going to just uh, turn this on low. Okay, that's uh, my sugar and shortening is creamed uh, together. And now I'm going to add my eggs and the salt. So that's two eggs. One quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, that is all mixed together. And now I am going to add buttermilk and a baking soda. So I'm going to put a little bit of buttermilk into this dish right here and the baking soda. So I'm to combine those two items together, mix them up and then dump them into this mixture. So I need two tablespoons of buttermilk And one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so I'm going to mix those together, stir it up. You can see it here making it a little bit uh, thicker and bubblier. Okay, I'm going to turn my mixer now back on low. Okay, now I'm going to add in my flour, which is two cups of flour. I'm 
Okay, so here's one cup. I'll lift it up it's easier okay here is my second cup of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder This is a half, so I'll go ahead and put two in. Okay, uh, this is pretty well mixed, and I'm going to get my apples chopped up and my nuts chopped up, and we'll add them to this mixture. Okay, I'm going to add my vanilla, and I need one teaspoon of vanilla. Let me get this spatula out of the way. And my oven is preheating to 350. Well, it's already preheated and I have a greased uh, loaf pan here that I'll be putting the mixture in when I'm done. Okay. Now I'm going to add uh, one half cup of chopped walnuts. And two cups of chopped Granny Smith apples. And you leave them with the peels on. So you just core it and uh, slice it up. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of the mixing by hand and we'll get this into the pan. Hold on. Okay, here is my mixture. It's all mixed up really well. And I'm going to get it into my greased pan. And actually, I sprayed it with uh, Pam. And this is going to bake in a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour. And this is a recipe that you more than likely might have the ingredients already on hand, except for maybe the buttermilk. I think this is going to be pretty good. Okay, I'm going to finish spreading this out in my pan and then I will be back when it is cooled and ready to sample. So I'll see you in a bit. Here's the finished product. Looks good. Uh, it doesn't really smell like apples but we'll see once I cut into it. It did take a full hour in my oven at 350 degrees and it's been cooling. I took it out of the, uh, the bread pan. It was a glass bread pan. Um, about 15 minutes after I had removed it from the oven and now it's been setting for almost an hour so it's it's cooled down quite a bit so I'm going to just cut this end piece off and then another little piece Ooh, I can see the apples and see how this tastes Okay, it's pretty moist inside. Here's a close-up look. There you go. All right, uh, let's give it a taste and see what we think of it. Yeah, it's moist inside. So we have the nuts and the apples in here. Mmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's good. I really like it. Can't really smell the apples. Just, you know, a slight hint. Tastes good with a cup of coffee. Yes, this is delicious. I will be making it again. And like I said, it did take a full hour. All of the instructions that you need or the ingredients list will be down below in the description box. I want to thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be great if you do so. I do uh, cooking on this channel. I used to do other things, but now it is just only cooking and recipes. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.